The Waikato has been the source of some of New Zealand's finest golfers, David Smale, Phil Tatarangi and Steve Elka, to name a few. And Hamilton looked to unearth future golf champions recently at the Brian Perry Classic. The Pro-Am event not only looks after the professionals with the biggest single-day prize purse in New Zealand golf, but there's an important focus on youth golfers thanks to one man. Well, really it comes from Brian Perry himself. Brian Perry uh, was an absolute legend uh, in Waikato, did so much for the Waikato region and uh, set up the Brian Perry Charitable Trust, who are the sponsors of, of the Brian Perry Classic. It's a golf tournament that encompasses everything that Brian was about, which is Waikato, youth and sport. And Waikato is so lucky to have uh, Brian Perry as part of it. The format sees 30 junior golfers from the province paired with New Zealand touring pros and their amateur teammates. It's an important event for the likes of Waikato team member Hannah Seifert, who is juggling university studies and golf training. This is the only opportunity that juniors specifically get to play with the likes um, of the top New Zealand professionals in the country, which is an awesome opportunity um, for all the juniors as well as the pros. It gives them an opportunity to help us out a bit and teach us what we might not get in another tournament playing with amateurs. The emphasis on junior golf goes well beyond the 18-hole tournament. Brian Perry Charitable Trust are putting up $4,000 for the juniors, scholarships ranging from $250 to $1,000 for the top 10 juniors in this tournament, and they can use that on any golf-related uh, matters, coaching, uh, apparel, anything they like. So it's a, it, it really can assist them because, uh, you know, they're amateurs, they're often uh, studying, and uh, any help like that is great. It's pretty tough as an amateur golfer, not able to win um, prize money and things like that generally. So it's certainly financially tough for a lot, lot of juniors and this gives a great incentive and a bit of pressure, um, which is not necessarily always the case in tournaments. One golfer who has gone from scholarship recipient last year to picking up his first winner's check in his rookie pro season is Matthew Perry. I was lucky enough to apply for the Adastra scholarship uh, about this time last year and uh, that really helped me uh, progress and achieve some of the things I set out as an amateur in my final year. I've made the shift to Melbourne where I feel is the best area for me to progress and uh, having won last week over there on the Pro-Am circuit is, is a good uh, confidence boost and playing well at the hills so I'm just looking to progress and, and really uh, stamp my mark I guess on the, the pro game. Another rising star of Waikato golf is Compton Picari. Having won three times last year, the Tiawamutu team was set to rub shoulders with the pros. Yeah, it's a good opportunity to play with the pros today, to see how they handle themselves and how they play the course. I need to get a bit better at course management, so it'll really be good to see how they handle themselves around the course. They get so much more experience um, internationally than we do, so they certainly come back to courses like this, which they may well be familiar with, but they certainly would have a very strong game plan. It'll be interesting to see how they put that into play today. I hope they do ask a lot of questions to the pro, and I hope a lot of them um, test the pro on the scorecard as well, and I'm sure the uh, strength of Waikato Junior Golf, that'll happen. I think it's a fun day out for the pros as well. Uh, they get to play a good course and obviously the prize money keeps them interested right to the last hole. Ultimately, Richard Lee took home the winner's check for the pros, while Picari missed out to Luke Toomey in the juniors' playoff. Although the real successes of the Brian Perry Classic will be seen in the years to come. A uh, long-term goal would just be professional, um, just make a good career out of professional golf part-time uni this year, so build that on with my golf, and when I finish that, I'll definitely be looking to turn professional. These young golfers will be hoping to replicate the province's netball, rugby and Olympic champions, perhaps flying the Waikato flag at Rio in 2016. Absolutely, I mean, for golf to be in the Olympics, it would be um, an incredible opportunity to be there, and it's just great for golf in general, um, for it to be recognised on a more global scale. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic.